All right, so now we are moving into uh, movies and series, and the movie that we are starting off with is one that I don't know. They had to completely remake this movie, is my understanding. Like, re they basically shot this movie um, completely twice. Um, so it's been in a we it's had a weird production, and so I don't know what to tell you. Do you want to say hello to everybody, Brian? My son Brian is here. Come here, come here. Look right there and say. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. I love you, son. Say bye-bye. Bye. All right. Uh, but yeah, so they've had to reshoot this whole movie, and the series that this is connected to, it's just been rocky. And I don't know what they're going to do. This is just, I don't know. But let's check it out. We're going to watch it together. We're going to watch it together. Here we go. We are watching the trailer for. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Captain America Brave New World. Official trailer. Coming at us from Marvel Entertainment. We're going to like the video. It has got 13 million views against 319,000 views, uh, sorry, likes and 32,000 dislikes. Anthony, what's that? That's a lot of dislikes. Uh, it is, but um, comparatively. I mean, not compared to those. That's but just because I mean, it's got so many. It's got so many views, though. Uh, okay, so Anthony Mackie and Harrison Ford star in the Marvel Studios Captain America: Brave New World. Watch the brand new trailer and experience it only in theaters February fourteenth. I think that they actually messed up what they were gonna do in this movie. They shouldn't have had. They shouldn't have told us who Harrison Ford was going to play. They shouldn't have told us anything. They should have just had us know that it was going to be Anthony Mackie. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Playing as Captain America. Really, and that should have been it. But, yeah. Uh, I'm not... I did not like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I thought it was bad. I thought it was written bad. I thought the dialogue was bad. I thought the premise of what it was trying to teach us... Obviously, was completely politically charged and bad. <laughs> um, I think that they really messed up in how they're doing this. If they wanted him to be Captain America, he needed to become a super soldier. That's all that there is to it. Um, he shouldn't even be able to lift Captain America's shield because it's actually canonically it's too heavy for a human to even throw or anything. But yeah, this doesn't. It's yeah, it's just not working for me in my mind here and now he's about to fight red hulk and he ha and a lot of the people will not have even watched the series falcon and winter soldier but now it's oh captain america winter soldier um but falcon and the winter soldier so that that so a lot of people are going to be confused also yeah now how are you going to have a normal human guy fighting the hulk with a shield it doesn't doesn't play out in my mind um, but anyway, let's check it out, though. We've got a 2 minute 37 second trailer. I hope that you guys are ready. Hi, it's Travis with Oscar Mike Radio. Oscar Mike Radio is a military and veterans podcast and show about those who serve our country and those who have served and are doing amazing things. But you know what? Let's take more. Let's take more. And then they had that fantastic... It's managing those logistics and, and getting things where they need to be on time. I mean, come on! <laughs> want to learn more? Want to follow the show? Go to OscarMikeRadio.com or the link below. We're Oscar Mike and we're Mission in Flight. Thank you.
Here we go. You asked for me. Here I am. All right. That was the first Captain America. You help me? Is there anything you remember? Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, Thaddeus. Oh. So this was the first... I didn't realize that it was that guy, but this was the first super soldier, which was in the comics. He was the first super soldier. He was before Steve Rogers, even. And he did great things. Just like Steve did. Whatever this is, Cap, be careful. Yeah, he doesn't... So apparently he tries to attack and kill the president or something. And he doesn't even remember what happened. So he was like under mind control or something. Something. Interesting. What do we know? There were five shooters. This was a coordinated terrorist attack, sir. I was a wartime general. Now I'm a wartime president. Your inner circle's been compromised. Let me fix it. Watch yourself. You're not Steve Rogers. Yeah, you're not even a super soldier. I'm not. Nope. Nope. For it. You're not a super soldier, so that would have killed you. We're on the brink of war. So you understand what I'm saying, right? Like this stuff is cool when there's when when it's a superhero doing it, but this guy is just a soldier. Like, he's, you know, he's just a guy. And he carries the shield, but he shouldn't even be able to wield it the way he does. It's, it's, I don't know, from my mind, I, I don't think you're going to be able to plausibly have this guy fight Hulk. Because Captain America fights the Hulk a couple of times, but he doesn't fight him like where he stands his own ground. He basically fights him in such a way as to not get hit. <laughs> Um, and he knew he was going to die fighting him, but then he ended up not dying because of different things. Like, he knew he couldn't beat the Hulk or anything, but, um, this guy, I mean, he's, he's just a human. There's just no way that he would ever be able to last a second with the Hulk. Anyway, here we go. Wait for it. We're on the brink of war. Okay. I can't trust anyone. War be declared. Nothing about this feels right. Captain America. You ever ask yourself who's playing who? Yeah, so like a normal human without the super soldier serum would never be able to Someone's do that. been pulling the strings on everything. You're under arrest? I don't want a variable out there that I can't control. Stop! Captain America caught without his wings. You like to play dress up and blindly execute the state's orders. What if this is a trap? Okay. Since when were they red? What the heck is going on? You want me? See this right here? Yeah, he... I'm gonna tell you again. Normal human, not, not gonna happen, friend. So in the show, um, Falcon and Winter Soldier, they had this great opportunity because they talked about how there's this new, this new super soldier serum. Spoiler alert for Falcon and Winter Soldier, but it's been gone done for a long time now. Um, but they had this new super soldier serum, and they needed, they had this great way of making him the new Captain America by having him get the new super soldier serum, and they just didn't, didn't. And in the comics, I'm pretty sure, yeah, in the comics, he gets a, his own form of the super soldier serum at some point. And they could have just had him, because that we need a super soldier. So, 
he could be have the super soldier serum. I mean, Bucky Barnes has the super soldier serum as well. At least a version of it. So I, I just I don't know why they did this in this way. I'm not talking about this movie necessarily, but just like the whole story of Anthony Mackie becoming Captain America. But let's check out what other people are saying about it in the comments. So 30 years ago, Harrison Ford was a was age appropriate or age appreciate age appropriate to play the president. Today at 80, Harrison Ford is age appropriate to play the president. <laughs> That's funny, yeah, yeah. In the movie Air Force One, he played the president as well. Yeah, Ross, you ain't Steve Rogers. Sam, you ain't Bruce Banner. The vibranium in that shield and this man's suit is working overtime to keep Sam alive. I love it. Uh, William Hurt was a fantastic Thaddeus Ross, but it is unfortunate that he was never able to become the Red Hulk. Did William Hurt... Oh, yeah, that's right. William Hurt died. Yeah. Tom Holland can't say Anthony never got his own movie. <laughs> People talking about William Hurt. He's like some kind of Red Hulk. <laughs> say that again. What are we, living in some kind of Captain America Brave New World? <laughs> um, for anyone wondering why Thaddeus is now played by Harrison Ford, it's because unfortunately the older old actor passed away. And while I think he was a better Thaddeus Ross, I'm glad they're bringing an acting legend to keep his character alive. Yeah. You ain't Steve Rogers, Sam. I'm inevitable. How is Captain America supposed to fight a literal Hulk without super soldier serum, though? Doesn't mean Sam will get juiced up. Yeah, exactly. Bro landed on his knees so hard he created a sonic boom. Any normal human knees, even at peak human condition, would have been broken. He's going to have vibrania armor and wings. That'll be a, a huge help in at least slowing down Ross. But we'll just have to wait and see anything can happen. This right here. Marvel's... That's my daughter. She's having a fun time. Marvel is just stupid with the power levels of their movies. Sometimes the characters are strong. Most of the times they are weak. Yeah, this is dumb. I mean, if other people... I mean, I'm, I've already been saying it. You want to say hi? Come here. Look right here and say hi. Right here. Say hi. No? Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, you know... Other people are saying in the comments, and I'm just saying it too, like, he needs to have the Super Soldier Serum for this to be fun and believable. So. When they say vibranium, you also have to realize that T'Challa, you know, the Black Panther also had a form of something like the Super Soldier Serum. So, yeah. Um, but alright guys, let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Oh, by the way, check this one out on February 14th. But alright, here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.